Good morning, folks. I am in Malibu, California today doing a Ocean Talks video from the field. I am going to be searching for whales today. So my friends over at Shark Allies inform me that there is a gray whale that was spotted further south. It is entangled in fishing net. Entanglements are unfortunately something I've seen at this very spot in the past. In fact, here's a whale spotted here that was wrapped in net. This whale was eventually freed days later by a NOAA entanglement team, but sadly it died shortly thereafter. The fact that entanglement teams exist is truly a testament to the damage of these nets. It was while I was on a Zoom call with my friends at Shark Allies that I learned something so surprising, I felt it needed to be better known. And so I wanna share it with you. But before we get to that, in a very related subject matter, last week during my annual Sea of Cortez expedition, I filmed this whale breaching continuously. What was a moment of joy quickly turned into a moment of sadness when we realized this whale was desperately trying to remove the netting around the tail. If you look closely, you can see the pink netting here. It was truly a painful sight to witness. The whale jumped continuously for an hour only to pause and display pectoral slaps that demonstrated not joy, but was likely frustration. We did alert authorities about this whale who dispatched an entanglement team to search for it. Nautilus Liveaboards, whom I was with, offered aerial support to the team in order to help find the whale again. I don't have an update on this particular whale as of the making of this video. Okay, so what was the information I learned that left me in complete surprise? Did you know that great white sharks caught in California, including their fins, are allowed to be sold? Yeah, it's true and it caught me by complete surprise. I did not know this was possible until my friends at Shark Allies told me this over a Zoom call recently. Naturally, my question is, how in the world is this possible? Well, this too involves nets. Existing law allows for a loophole that authorizes the incidental take of white sharks by commercial fishing operations using set gill nets, drift gill nets, or round haul nets. It's a lot of nets. So basically, a white shark caught in a net in Southern California can be taken per the current state law. As surprising as it is, I still don't know what a gill net is. So let me show you, because even I had to research exactly how these nets work. A gill net is a wall of netting that hangs in the water column and basically it's made of monofilament or multifilament nylon. Mesh sizes are designed to allow fish to get their heads through the netting but not their body. The fish's gills then get caught in the mesh as the fish tries to back out of the net. These nearly invisible nets can be as long as a Golden Gate Bridge and they indiscriminately catch more than 125 different species of ocean animals. California's set gill nets have among the highest discard rates by number of animals of any fishery in the country. The set gill nets used here in Southern California are essentially underwater fences stretching over a mile long and are anchored to the sea floor catching marine organisms of all kinds. Because they are weighted to the ocean floor and often placed directly in the path of protected migratory marine mammals such as gray whales and humpback whales and sharks of course, these species are often entangled. Because of the danger to these species, California set gill nets were first banned in Northern California waters in 1915, then in Southern California waters in 1990, with an exception for the Channel Islands. However, one specific fishery remains in operation because it is operating in the federal waters off of the Channel Islands. Essentially, the powers that be allowed exceptions allowing this fishery access to the federal waters around the Channel Islands. This fishery currently operates from Point Conception to the U.S.-Mexico border in offshore waters of the Southern California Bay. This is in the heart of the migratory path of countless marine mammals and white shark nursery grounds. The law is quite specific as to what can be taken, when and where, and it's quite surprising if you read it. As you've probably seen in many of my videos, I often film a variety of injuries on great white sharks, typically juvenile sharks. Uh, injuries like this one, a shark named Arrow that I filmed back in 2020. This injury is likely a long line fishing injury or a gill net injury. Uh, the bent up fin, who knows uh, if this shark has recovered. I have not seen it since 2021. So while sharks are very resilient creatures, 
It is always disappointing to see any human-induced injuries on not just sharks, but any sea creatures. So I've been here just a couple hours this morning. I've not even seen one whale. Uh, it's gotten pretty foggy, so uh, I may have to move my search a little further north where the sun is shining a little bit. But uh, hopefully we find this entangled whale. Now, you may be wondering what you can do regarding these nets. Well, this month there's a bill in the California legislature that would end the practice. Assembly Bill 2220 by Assembly Member Steve Bennett will put this issue front and center. Please sign the petitions below. Uh, also, the links I've included in this video so that you can have some information regarding the issue. A lot of it is new information that I had no idea was, was uh, happening. So this bill will help end that practice uh, and more importantly, end the gill nets that just catch everything in the path of these migratory animals. Now, I have a lot of friends who are fishermen. I have a lot of friends who enjoy the thrill of the catch, catching a meal. This is not targeting them. This bill is specifically targeting large commercial fishing entities that catch everything in their path. I have many friends who enjoy fishing and I know fishermen that truly care about the ocean. In fact, most all fishermen do this, but this bill is about those large scale operations again. So take some time, look at these links, uh, become informed on this issue, and this bill will come up later this month, and uh, hopefully next month I can give you an update as to the status of this uh, wild and crazy practice that is still happening here in California. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna go search for the whale. Hopefully the weather gets better, and um, in the meantime, here's some footage I captured yesterday of gray whales and an emaciated whale that unfortunately passed through as well. Until next time, thanks for watching. This has been Ocean Talks. I'm Carlos, Malibu artist, and uh, see you soon.